welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as employee tracking system so now let us see the execution of the project so we have developed this project using NetBeans IDE 8.2 so just go to the file menu and click open project now select the source code location and click open project and kindly wait till the complete project is loaded into the NetBeans IDE so meanwhile we will attach the database in the MySQL so just go to the MySQL administrator and select restore and select open backup file go to the source code location and select the database and click start restore now the project database is been attached to the mysql click close and now come back to the netbeans id now you can see it is nearing the completion of loading into the netbeans id so now it has been loaded completely now right click the online employee tracking system and then click run so it takes few minutes to load the project into the browser now you can see the welcome screen or the home screen of the project with the project title employee tracking system so here you can see the entities like employee project manager and admin so currently we don't have employee login and project manager login so first go to the admin part so in the admin login you can enter the admin credentials and log into the system and once after the login is successful so you, ca you can see the welcome screen for the admin part and here you can see the options of adding the employee add project manager add project view employee view project manager view project project reports leave reports view ratings and logout so let us see the all the options one by one so first we'll let me go to uh, adding the employee so add employee so let me enter an employee So now in the add employee option we have added the name, email id, date of birth, gender, designation, phone number, address, password and profile picture and then click submit. And once it is added you can see the employee is added successfully and click ok. And now let us go to adding the project manager so click add project manager. So in the project manager you can see the options of adding the name so let me enter the name as jp the email id date of birth gender phone number address password the profile picture
and then click submit so now we have now we have added the employee and the project manager both the part so now let us log out from the admin part and go to the employee and project manager and let us check those login credentials so just go to the employee part so we have added as the employee as ajit at gmail.com so let us log in with those credentials and click login and now you can see the login is successful and click ok and this is the welcome screen of the employee where you can see the profile of the employee once if he is log in, logged in and here you can see the option of project details, project report, leave report, view rating and logout so since the, the employee is added right now you can see everything is empty now let me log out now let us go to the project manager part so login with the project manager login credentials and click login and here you can see welcome screen of the project manager with the profile of the project manager and here the project manager also you can see the project details project report ratings of the given uh, ratings by the project manager and everything is empty as we have not given any details now let us assign some project to the employee so just go to the admin part and once logged in you can just go to add project so now here you can add the project add project so let us add some project let us name as railway chatbot and you can enter some client name and you can select the project manager so you can see who are all the project managers available you can see in the drop down in case if you are adding a new project manager you can see in the drop down list over here so right currently I have added the project manager as JP you can see the dead details over here so let me select the project manager as JP here and in the project employee also you can select who are all the employees available and right now I have added as Ajit so that is being displayed in the down so just let me click that Ajit and developing platform and after entering the details and click submit and here you can see the project is added successfully and click ok and here you can see the option of viewing the employees so currently here you can see who are all the employees available with the profile email employee id employee name date of birth gender phone number address designation and that means has the rights to remove those option also and he can also view the project manager details so these are the project managers are currently available and you can admin can able to see the projects available and here you can see who, what are the projects available so currently you can see this project currently which we added right now you can see those details here and now let us check the project reports leave reports and view ratings after those details entered by the employee and the project manager so now let me go to the employee So once after login to the employee you can see the project details so earlier it was empty now we have added a project to this employee so the project is being displayed with the project name client name project type project manager project employee developing platform database technology description and added added date and time of it and in the project report the employee can able to select the project report so what all of the projects assigned it will be displayed over here in the project name so currently this I have assigned only one project in case if there are multiple projects assigned you can see those details in this drop down box and let me select this railway chart and you can select the you can enter the project report for example design phase is completed like that and then click submit now the employee has submitted the project report let, let us go and check in the admin part and before that let us check the leave report of it and leave report the employee can able to uh, select the 
date and time from which date he wants some leave for example let me select 17 6 2021 to 18 6 2021 and you can enter the reason for ma uh, leave and then click submit and you can able to see the ratings so currently he has not got any ratings now let us log out so now let us go to the admin part So in the admin part, you can able to see the project report. So in the project reports, you can see the railway chat bot, which is been entered by the Ajit is being displayed here. You can see design phase is completed. And in leave reports, here you can see the employee ID Ajit, which we entered right now is being displayed over here. Now let us log out and go to the project manager part. and now in the project manager you can see what all the projects assigned to this project manager so currently we have assigned one project so that is being displayed and here you can see the project report and uh, the this this project manager has this employee been assigned so those reports only will be viewed to this project manager and he can able to give the rating of to the to his uh, assigned employees so for example if you wanted to give a rating just click give rating so in the give rating you can see the employee name and he can enter the rating for example let me enter 9 and you can submit and here you can see the value is being assigned less than or equal to 5 so the rating should be within 1 to 5 so let me enter 4 and then click submit and you can see the rating has been added you just go to the view ratings and he can able to see the ratings given he has given these ratings and let me log out and the employee also able to see those ratings which is given to them and go to the view ratings and here you can see what all the ratings which is available which is who, who, who has given the rating and what is the feedback of it and in the admin part also they can see all the employees rating so let go to the admin part and just select view ratings and here you can see who what all the ratings available for all the employees so this employee id is employee is different and this project manager is different so it is not displayed to the the, the, the current the other employee and the project manager but admin can able to view those all the ratings And this is all about the project yeah, online employee tracking system and thank you for watching.